Hello. Cool. I think I should be going. Nice. <laughs> cool. All right. I got the comments here. All right, I'll just wait for a couple people to join before I start going into some funny shit. Um, but yeah, basically I compiled like my favorite videos on YouTube that have to do with game and uh, I'm going to be re reviewing them. Do, 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 do. Hello, two people watching. Yes. Sup. There we go. All right. I think that's all I need to get into the first video. So I'm going to start pulling it up. Um, yeah, I can share from a tab, I believe. So I'm going to make my second tab the thing that I compiled. Yo, uh, let me know if the audio is good as well. Maybe I have to turn it up a little louder, actually. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to go into the funniest videos about game. All right, here we go. Yo, all right, I'm gonna share, let's see, share. I'm still getting used to this software. So give me a sec, share screen from Brave Tab. Yeah, here we go, there we go. All right, you guys can see this, yeah? Excuse me, mm -hmm. you're looking lovely today, beautiful. Thank you. Can I get your number? No, I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend. Fuck you then, ugly ass bitch! Scarecrow face ass, dragon face ass, Nike boot face ass bitch! You just said I was beautiful. You a hoe anyway, hoe ass, slut ass, skeezing ass, scheming ass, trish pussy face ass. Because I didn't give you my number? Your daddy don't love you, and your mama smoked crack while she was pregnant with you, on purpose. Why would you say that? <laughs> It's so funny because that's like, this is very similar to like the nice guy reactions, uh, which I'll pull up. It's basically like, this is why a lot of girls they have with guys that are quote unquote nice guys or guys that, you know, they come across like, hey, how's it going? I just, you doing okay, beautiful. They get scared so bad because this is how guys like that react. Um, that's why it's better to be expressive is because girls know how you're going to react to things. But fuck you. Fuck you. Go the, this is it's like this video. Hi. Hi. Sorry for randomly messaging you, but you look as amazing as the amazing spider man And I'm looking for a long-term, loyal, serious relationship. And it said you were single, so I randomly messaged you. Sorry if I'm cheesy. LOLOL. Sorry, I have a really awesome boyfriend actually. Good for you, kid. Don't gotta rub it in my face, you dumb. C what the fuck? I said I was horny in a nice way. How could you friends on me? All girls are the same. Yeah, it's basically like a really negative reaction after any kind of rejection. Um, isn't that somewhere else in here? Oh, yeah, this is like a classic. You just want to fuck me. Oh, preposterous. I would not, not just want, want you just, just for that. that. You know, you're, you're a beautiful woman. You know, you're amazing. You have an amazing personality. You know, that's why I like you. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, right. I bet you say that to all the girls, huh? Being all nice, saying whatever it is you have to say to get inside my pussy. All guys do that. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, I know you get this all the time. But I'm not like those other assholes, okay? I want you for what's in here. Your beautiful mind. Really? After I let you hit, are you going to ghost me and, and stop talking to me? Never. I would never do that to you. I would never do that to any woman. I have respect for all women. You're not going to play me, are you? Wow, do I look like a player? <laughs> Come on, man. Playing you, I will never play you. Really? Really? Promise. Okay. Take off your pants. And please don't 
tell anyone? Who's gonna stay between us? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> it isn't where I'm going. It is it's where, where you're, you're going. going. Get out! These aren't mine. Did you really think I meant what I said? <laughs> yes. Insolent fool. You're even dumber than I thought, stupid bitch. <gasps> you are nothing. You will never amount to anything. Your existence, gratuitous. Your life is the equivalent to less than nothing. Also, what? I recorded a video and sent it to all my niggas in the group chat. They all witnessed your cheeks getting clapped. Impossible. Your number, deleted. Instagram, blocked. Birth certificate, wiped away. Social security number, it's gone. You don't exist anymore. Oh my God. I also nutted in you. And then after you had a child and developed love and care and affection for the only thing that could possibly love you in your worthless life, I'm going to come back in your worthless life and I'm going to inject you with heroin, crack, cocaine, all the drugs in the world. And then I'm going to tell Child Protective Services and they're going to take the baby away from you. And then I'm going to have somebody beat your ass and fuck you up. And then the only thing that's going to be left in your life is death. And then you're going to die, bitch. Bye. Damn. I'll go into this next one. But ba basically, this next one is like exactly what not to become with when you go like down the path of just like jerking off all the time it's very uh scary this is like the meme when i went to avn david bond showed me this guy and uh yeah it's like that there's two paths right when you go to like a, a convention like that one you could be um the guy who's taking action and talking to girls or b you could be the spectator who just kind of like spectates and enters this like weird fan mode uh yeah so let's take a look at this <laughs> i'm gonna play that or i'll pause it the the coom brain burned out dopamine receptors high prolactin killed his motivation hyperfrontality lost free will to extreme reinforcement of primal drive slave sexual distractions you don't want this to be you look at this guy's face and th this is a key thing too is it's with any kind of addiction but like if you have an addiction think of like just being like at homeostasis or like ground level to do something you have to go up let's say like a five degrees or something but when you have an addiction you're down like five degrees so you just have to fight your, an internal battle just to like not do the thing that you know you shouldn't be doing let alone do something like, you know, write a book or, you know, do something in your career or, you know, work out. It's like it's hard enough just to get the base level. So like to do anything above that is like it's even harder. So, yeah. But yeah, this is this is the guy, the ultimate Coomer. What's his end game? Just like retweeting and like, it's so cringe. And then, yeah, this is, I think this was his, his profile. Like he reviewed like every uh, film that he watched. It's like 9,420 reviews. see if we got some some comments <laughs> oh my god that's me does anyone have questions 
I know no one has questions these days. It's kind of interesting. So I'll just, I guess I'll keep going through these videos. They're kind of interesting. Sounds like some white chicken in India. <laughs> It's like just walking down the street and they're like, please, photo. Okay, thank you. You can pick one. 100 rupees. 100 rupees, Papa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to go to the shower right now, but before I do, I want to tell you something that happened to me today. I I think like if you just go down deep enough, it's hard to like actually attract women. It's kind of like the opposite of attracting women, right? Cuz you're just it's such it's such an easy way to get dopamine. That's why they say like these days the well, I was watching a thing by Huberman today. He was talking about how like these days it's to be successful in anything you just kind of have to protect yourself from the easy dopamine pleasures of life. Like it's easy to just eat garbage all the time. It's easy to do to watch porn. It's easy to play video games. It's easy to do all those things. However, there are certain safeguards you can put in place like by using custodio to block yourself from using porn to use uh have your friend be your parent on apple uh screen time and like prevent you from using certain apps or even put in uh time limits like i have time limits for instagram and youtube and stuff like this so i can only use it for like one to two hours a day um and that kind of changed my mindset because i'll start to use it more for producing rather than consuming because to upload a video doesn't take that long but to you know if you sit down and watch three hours or something i'm not i can't even do that anymore and when it locks me out of it or like for example i have 10 minutes for facebook so basically i use facebook as for facebook groups because it's the best way to answer uh certain questions for like traveling and this type of stuff so yeah after the 10 minutes is up that's pretty much it um yeah so i can't get into a habit of it so yeah, you got to protect yourself from uh, the easy dopamine pleasures of life. Yeah, it's interesting. Like the people I know from India and the people that I know that have traveled there, it's like girls between the ages of like 14 and like 40 just don't even really leave the house. It's like only women that or I guess 30 or something, right? It's only like women that have children that are outside or like young girls, but no like just like uh, no teenagers or early 20s girls are on the street very much. Uh, yeah, some date tips. Uh, let's listen to this guy. This guy got some good date tips. And then I'll get into your date tips. I was, I got hugged by a girl. I, 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 I cannot believe what happened to me today. I got hugged by a girl, and she is pr pretty hot, might I add. And she hugged me for two seconds. For two seconds, she hugged me. And, um, and, uh, <laughs> it's, this is one of the happiest days of my life. I got hugged. I got hugged by a girl. And she he got hugged by a girl. Um, yeah, so I'll give you some of the date tips and also like date locations because you should also be more specific if you want something more specific. But uh, yeah, main thing with a date, remember, going on a date means that the girl is investing time, money, effort, energy to come meet you. So she already has a tremendous amount of buy-in. So it's like, it's more about like not fucking up than doing something extraordinary, right? Um, so 
Yeah. So basically, here's a couple things. Remember that numbers and Instagrams can often die off. Uh, so it's best to meet the girl when she has a fresh uh, knowledge of you and her mind, right? And that could be, you know, from online meeting up pretty quickly, uh, but in in real life as well. Because meeting someone in real life, they have that their memory stores their perception of you much more readily. So it's best to meet up as soon as possible because otherwise that perception of you kind of decreases over time. So I found like, you know, a, a girl that could be super, super into me. If she meets me the next day, she'll show up. Maybe if I, I can't do something, for example, I had a couple girls that um, I went to Europe like right when I wanted to meet them. But uh, yeah. And if you don't message them all the time, they kind of drop off. So it's harder to meet up with girls after a few days. Um, generally I like to meet with girls within three days. Now there's obviously times where I stand out in a girl's mind. Like there's times where, you know, I'll pull a girl, but let's say my wingman that night isn't very good. And the girl uh, takes my girl home after that. And then like, we can't meet up for like, let's say they're on a trip to Miami. I've had it like this before. And then this girl, I, I went to LA and I just remember that she was in LA through Instagram. We had just been passively consuming each other's content on Instagram pretty much. Uh, we didn't even message that much, but because my Instagram was my Instagram was good and we had that night where basically I pulled her to my place and we kissed and we kind of hung out and chatted a bit. That allowed me six months later to to sleep with that girl. And she's fucking awesome. Uh, definitely a girl I'd be, I'd be down to date if she lived in my same city. But um, yeah. If your Instagram's not good, you should get a number. And then if your Instagram's good, you should more or less get it, get the Instagram. And then the number can also be a byproduct of getting the Instagram. You can like ask on her Instagram so that we have a, a really direct form of communication. But honestly, a lot of girls these days, I just get their Instagrams. Uh, next thing is that ideally you meet around sunset just makes the, uh, makes the experience of meeting you so much better. And Another reason why I'll do that is because I often do photos on dates. So I'll go out, we'll walk around, maybe we'll get ice cream, and then we'll just take good photos together. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that a bunch. So yeah, get photos of her. And obviously, photos are best around golden hour, uh, which is sunset. Um, and then yeah, she just feels like she's no any longer doing that. It's just beautiful. It's nice to walk around during sunset. Um, yeah, any kind of date, if you do some kind of sit down thing, it's okay if she sits across from you for a little bit, but halfway through that time where you're sitting down or like a quarter of the way through, you want to like take her stuff, put it on your side, whether it's a drink or her food or her purse, put it on your side and say like, come over here. I feel like we're, you're so far from me. I don't want to have like a, it feels like an interview. So yeah, you can do that. Another thing, if you just want to skip that, one thing I'll do is I'll just say, oh, I hate, I hate, hate sitting across from people. Like, I feel like you're so far from me. So I always have them sit next to me. And that way you can be more touchy on the date. And it feels like you're getting to know a girl as opposed to like just sitting across from a, a business interview thing, you know? Um, yeah. Then another thing is just be inquisitive, find out who she is, ask questions, anything that you're like curious about, ask about it. And typically you want to ask questions that elevate the mood, right? You don't want to ask questions like, Hey, so uh, who recently died in your family? You don't want to ask questions like that. You want to ask questions like, uh, Oh, so who do you live with? Do you like each other? Uh, are you, pa what are you passionate about? Oh, you like that? But what just likes and desires and, and it can be free flowing as well. Anything you get curious about, you can ask on, uh, obviously like go, go through my shifting video, the five ways to make a girl fall in love with you video for more on how to make a conversation interesting. I don't want to talk too much about that. Um, but yeah, and then the same things for a night game that you you'll do on the date you seed. So you talk about things you can do at your place. You nudge her toward leaving, uh, you lead with certainty and authority. You handle objections, uh, that may come up. And then on the way home, it's always fun, light chatting, and then make sure your apartment is bang prepped. So your apartment should do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Like when you get home, it shouldn't be freezing in your house. Uh, it should be like wa slightly warm. Um, the music should be on. Uh, you should have a speaker that you can turn on if you don't have like a sound system. 
Uh, the lighting should be nice, etc. Obviously, check out my bang prep video for, for more on that. Um, cool. And then some, some of my favorite date ideas. Board game cafe, super fun. I think like 100 of my lays have come from a board game cafe in Toronto. Um, and then another one is drinks. I don't drink, but I know this is a big one for people. They like to go out for drinks. Uh, the cool thing about drinks is the date can go as long or as short as you want. If you're sitting at a bar or you're sitting in, in like a lounge, it's easy to escalate physically. And they usually are pretty like relaxed and romantic environments as long as it's not like a sports bar. Grab and go, basically getting bubble tea, ice cream, coffee, going for a walk in the park. Um, that's a huge go-to of mine. Um, basically, you don't want to stay in the place, like especially like a bubble tea shop. It's like the fucking weirdest, gayest environment. It's like always like fluorescent lights and like gay shit everywhere or around you. So you want to just grab it and then start walking around in the park or a beautiful part of your city. Okay. And then another one I like is museums, estates, events, things like this. So I always go to the, the science center, the aquarium, art museums. If you guys watch my stories on Instagram, you'll see me taking girls to these types of locations. And you have so much to talk about. You're walking around. Everything's kind of changing and you two are the constants. I, re I really like that. And there's so much to talk about, but like, especially like art museums, you can make, make jokes about like the art, uh, what, what's going on in the, in the painting. And if you can't make a comment about what's happening in a painting and be creative about it, then you should probably take some stand-up classes or uh, maybe meditate and observe more so you can see, say what you see. Um, yeah. Okay, photography dates, another go-to of mine. Uh, one of the best things about it, besides the fact that you're commanding the girl to tell her what to do and pose and she feels kind of feminine and sexy posing for you, she gets photos afterward and women have very bad emotional memory, which means that they can't really remember how they felt around you. Um, so if you have like photos or like even a video, I sometimes I, in, in my old days, I used to basically take my GoPro out with me to get some date content as well. But also I'd send the video to the girls so they remember the date, right? So they can look back and go, oh shit, I had so much fun when I was with this guy. And then they're more likely to meet up again. It's so crazy how it's like girls will forget, but um, they do. So yeah, it's good to have like, it sounds weird, but it's like photo or video proof that clearly she was having a good time with you. Photos and videos are like a huge, huge uh, thing. Um, and yeah, how hard is it to make a video? Well, you take the video, uh, you just kept pressing stop and start. You keep pressing stop and start and then you put it in the editing software and you just cut out anything that's boring and then you export it. So it's like a retard could do it. Okay. Uh, pool, jacuzzi, shower. This was one my go-to one in Miami. I lived in this condo that had like a pool on the 10th floor. So I'd go swimming in the pool and then we'd be like, oh, you know what? Let's let's go to the jacuzzi. And I just, each step along the way, I'd just be getting a little bit more physical. So in the pool, you know, I'd be teasing her, maybe throwing her around or tossing her around. Or if I'm with like a buddy, we'd be doing like the chicken thing where the girl's on your shoulder and she's pushing the other people. Uh, and then we go into the jacuzzi and then there's bubbles and there's other people there you can socialize. And but also like the girl sitting on your lap, which is good. And yeah, like basically every time you're in a jacuzzi with a girl, she's sitting on your lap, you're going to get a boner. So uh, then basically I, I tell her, like, listen, we need a minute. And then I'll say, let's shower. Let's get this chlorine off of us. So we go upstairs, shower. And then uh, it's funny. I've done it with a couple times with girls, like gigantic tits. And I'll be like, uh, this is going to be an ultimate eye contact challenge. And uh, yeah, we just take off clothes, get into the, to the uh, shower, shower. And like after you're showering naked with a girl, it's pretty smooth transition to sex. Uh. Yeah. And one thing I'll say is I'll say like, listen, if, if you promise you can keep your hands off of me, we can, we can shower together. Okay. Uh, low exertion sports, mini golf, billiards, darts, ping pong, bowling, laser tag. Those are all great. Uh, cooking together or juicing. These are also go-tos of mine. Yeah. All right. Those are my date tips and date locations. Any questions on that? 
So this is why I don't use that terminology because you have no idea what the fuck that means. Intermediate or advanced. A beginner, intermediate. What does that even mean? That's why I have the five phases of game and you guys should learn it. If, any, if anyone knows the five phases of game, post them in the, in the comments. This is what my whole program is based around. It's based around the five phases of game because you... Immediately, when you hear the name of the phase, you go, oh, I know it. I know that that's my issue right now. I know that that's what I'm working on. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, same questions as always. Uh, basically, everything you guys are asking has, like, been covered at some point. So, you guys should probably actually listen to more theory. Um, yeah. So first of all, if a girl's really into you and you're being physical with her, guys won't come into your set most of the time. Second thing is the more jacked you become and the more physically dominant you become by through working out and getting big, the less this will happen as well because guys are afraid to die. So yeah. And yeah, most, most guys, they don't have games. So they just kind of come in and they'll chat for a bit. And then they'll just kind of, it'll fizzle out. So you usually don't need to worry about it. If a guy does come in and it doesn't, uh, he is taking the attention away from your girl, then you have to get it back. And then you just move somewhere else. And the guy puts him in a, in a weird position where he has to come back to you guys to continue the conversation, which 99% of guys won't. Uh, Question about age care. There are many girls I cold person give me concern when they find out I'm almost 30, but they're 19, 20. Um, yeah. So I, I think the couple things to lie about in game, one of them is age. Like if they're, if a 20 year old's weird about you, like being 29, I mean, first of all, a lot of girls around that age don't give a fuck. Like they'll date 40 year olds. So yeah, it's not really an issue. Uh, that said, it is good to kind of stretch the truth a little bit until girls get to know you. Like everyone has things that they don't want people to know right when they meet someone. And this could be one of them, right? No, no girl's going to tell you like, oh, hey, like my body count is 37. Like the first thing they tell you, right? So yeah, it's okay to like kind of shade the truth if it allows you to have a great example, a great experience with the girl and she gets to meet you. There's, there's clients of mine that have like dated a girl for, you know, months and then, you know, a few months in they'll, they'll talk about like, oh, hey, by the way, I lied about something when I met you. And she's like, what? It's so like uh, my age. She, and he tells her his age and then, you know, she's kind of disappointed for like 30 minutes and then she's like, well, I really like you. So it doesn't matter that much. It's like, it's not a big deal. Right. And the moral framework behind this is utilitarianism because if you, if the net good that's produced by you and her being together, having great experiences together, you taking her out, you know, giving her tons of value, um, you know, the, the moments that you share together, does that outweigh lying about your age? Of course it does. So yeah. And ultimately you do tell her the truth anyway. So, okay. The best books for game are on my channel. So just type in Austin Summers, best books. Uh, this book's pretty good. It's not enough to get you good at game, um, but it is good. It'll give you like maybe 10 to 15% of what you need to get good at game. How is this a question? Okay, I already covered date tips. Oh, I don't even know what these things mean anymore. Uh, okay, cool. I'm going to go back to uh, reviewing some of these funny videos. I got about 20 minutes left here, so we'll put on the funniest videos. Uh, share screen, brave tab. Yes. 
All right. Let's see. Uh, this is this is a classic. I used to have this one line. In hindsight, this shit is horrible. I was like, uh, let's play Hiroshima. I'll lay on my back and you blow the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, man. This is like a great example of just being at the cause. Uh, <laughs> it is a little bit crazy, but this is, is so funny. The Eric Andre Show! <laughs> Wait. All these. Oh, yeah. Here All go. right. Hi, I'm Elizabeth In Stop five, with the Daily. Four, and we're three, rolling. Two. Sound speeds. Do you think our speeds. guys can be quiet long enough for me to talk and introduce him or now? Sibilance, 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 sibilance. We're In testing. In five, four, three, two. I mean, this one. guy is killing me. I'm Elizabeth and That's Sabbath all the time here. we got. What do you think? I have like the boobs of a 12 year old. Girl. I don't. Can we even show this on. You have to like mosaic out my girl boobs. Yeah, I think, I think so. We might. Now we're rolling. In five, four, three. Two. Okay, you're killing me right now. We're here with. I'm Elizabeth Saab. Elizabeth Saab, Eric Andre. We're talking about a new show called "Don't Trust the Bee" in Apartment Twenty Three. It's on uh, ABC, uh, and a new show called Eric Andre Show on Adult Swim. Um, yes, take it away. It's a show. Let's talk about your hair first. Please, I, we gotta get it out of the way. What kind of products do you use? It's a in pubic there? wig. I'm wearing a merkin. <laughs> can we say that? Can we say that? What, what is the can rating? We say that I, on it's like, the internet, right? Can you say that on TV? Let me teach you something. I'm a talk show host. Let me teach you. Let me show you how it's done. All right, talk to me. All right. You always resented your parents. Did you see the notebook? I think another thing you could take out of this is he just snaps people out of autopilot, right? Most autopilot, you just be, you get in there. Hi. Um. So here's my show. Yeah, it's a it's a great show, uh, but he like snaps people out of autopilot. And he's like different, and yeah. Well, right now I'm learning a game from Eric Andre. Uh, let's go to some some other ones. I thought this was like the funniest dating video I've ever seen. Like just how cr weird the uh, intro is. You can hear like the weird music coming. <laughs> Like, this looks like it was filmed with a calculator. The triple logo there. One, two, three. The weird, like... Oh, man. I don't know, man. But listen, listen to this. Okay, hey, what's up, fellas? Today, I'm going to talk about a few of the dating don'ts, okay? Um. That's how you give value to your audience. Weird. Okay. Uh, let's go to something else. Oh, my God. This has got to be one of the funniest videos. Basically, the premise is YOLO and these girls are getting ready to go out right now. Hey, bitch. Hey, let's get smashed tonight. Oh, yeah, let's get fucking drunk. We're going to get fucking drunk. Wait, I gotta get that fucking drunk. Hey, how do I look? Yeah, you look so good. Do I look hot? Yeah, you look hot. You look Hey, let's call Stacy and tell her to come get fucked up with us. Nah, fuck Stacy. She's a bitch. All right, let's go. Hey, ladies, you girls ready to have a good time tonight? Yeah, we're ready to have a good time. We're going to get drunk. Drunk. So wasted. Daddy time. Holy five million photos to 
while servers a second. All systems are in overdrive. What do we do? There's nothing we can do. No! Alright, look at those girls over there. Hey, I'm gonna go fuck them. Yeah, go fuck them. Hey, which one of you lady is gonna get fucked? Yeah, I'll fat you. Come on, fat me. Oh, yeah, fat you look boy. Yeah, fat me. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna get your ass on. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you. Oh yeah, come on, get I'm gonna fuck your shit. I'm gonna fuck your shit in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, y'all are. You can do us. Man, how disturbing is that? It's so funny. Um, this this one is basically like it's weird that sometimes people just don't want to follow the advice. Like they want the end result but they just don't want to follow the advice. So they're not going to get the end result. It's like anything in life, right? P who wants to be rich? If I asked you, do you want to be rich? Of course you'd say, of course, yes, I want to be rich. If I asked you, Hey, do you want to be good with girls? Of course. Yeah. I want to have threesomes. I want to, you know, have date multiple girls. I want to get an awesome girlfriend. I want to get a wife I want to have kids, whatever. But and the same thing with like getting jacked. Like everyone wants the results, but no one wants to like actually put in the effort to get the results. So this is literally how I feel sometimes with this video. Fuck do you want to do? You can do it. Fuck do you want to do? Do it. At the end of the day, you don't have to follow the advice. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Fuck you want to do. You can do it. That's right. Uh, what is it like? Oh, dude. Oh, dude, there's so many fucking funny videos in this. Uh, actually, I like this one isn't funny, but it's just like really good. Yeah. Basically, it before people get like cringed, this is like it starts off with like painting the picture of what modern society is telling people. And then from there, it goes into like just traditional masculinity shit. So before you start cringing. Yes. Dear men, stop working out. Physical fitness is a cycle of toxic masculinity. I had to go to work to do the porn. I can feel you so that I can buy the drugs from the kitchen to the best bury the pain your steps keep me if you wanna go, then I'm so lonely. If you leave me, I'll be gone so I go along. I hope you can show me If you wanna go then I'll be so lonely If you leave me baby let me down slowly Let me down
It's interesting too, like that I've been reading some of these books that especially emergency uh by the guy that wrote the game what the fuck is that guy's name whatever the book's called emergency this book may save your life that's the name of it and he talks about how like in periods of crisis and war people actually prefer it because they got can stick together better and they like they feel like there's a an actual purpose and kind of like tribalism some kind of like tribal identity to their, their lives whereas like a lot of in the modern era, we don't have that, especially in like North America. It's kind of like interesting to think about. Uh, cool. What else do we got? We got about 10 more minutes. So I guess we're going to have to go with the classic. The floor. Yeah, dude, I saw you. It was insane. Uh, that chick was all over you, dude. I know. That... Dude, check out those chicks. Yeah, Neil Strauss. Good. Is that Stacy Ferguson? Yeah, bro. Ask her out. This is the perfect moment. Yeah. You've been waiting all your life for this. You think so? Yes. Go for it. Yeah, I feel like... Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Are we going to go there? Yeah. All right. Oh, Hey, Stacy. Do you want to go out sometime? twist oh shit no i have to the the best one of all that actually is really related to game well everyone knows this one right i actually interviewed this guy for my my program freddie fairhair um if you guys have been on youtube you know the channel whatever back in the day it had like some of the best pickup stuff on it it's like really fun cool videos like giving roses to girls getting numbers this type of Kind of like fun, pranky style, but still kind of good game. Um, and actually, the, the the guy had still on the channel. He was like big into game back in the day. Um, but yeah, this is one of the guys that was on that channel, uh, Freddie Fairhair, along with Gold Jacket Luke. Um, but yeah, you'll see Luke in the video too. Uh, press play. This is a naked guy picking up girls. This guy is actually. I, I'm gonna interview this guy soon. This guy had his Mort, Morton Hagen Hawk or something. He had like a whole pickup conference that Paul Jenka went to and other dating coaches went to back in the day. Amalia. <laughs> I don't like to do Thank you. So, what's your name? <laughs> You're cool. I like you. 
I hope there's no kill. He's naked and girls are like, you're cool, I like you. And then the other girl... Oh, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like confidence is the best thing I know. This guy struggled with social anxiety really, really badly in his life. And that's kind of what he helps guys do these days to overcome anxiety. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty crazy. Um, oh, man, do I have, you know, I'll, I'll, the last one is just too funny. I, I got to show it. So uh share screen brief okay whoop uh here we go what what is this this is a guy uh his youtube channel is be nice to me productions some of the funniest videos i've seen on youtube uh he does like parodies of like everything uh, so I'll do like a parody of Vox, but it's called Cox and like he'll do a parody. This is like an RSD parody, but yeah. What is up YouTube? RSD Alex here, AKA Timmy Squirts. And here we are in beautiful summertime shy. Going to be doing a little day game infield pickup, showing you the tips, tricks, and tools of the trade to lay some serious pipe this summer. You're going to see the surefire method to getting not only face, but fish and that's right, boys, full on fudge, all three holes. And it's all in this video. Links into the description to my training sessions. We're gonna be opening up a few sets, number closing, and eventually having some hardcore anal sex later on tonight. That, I can guarantee you. All right, boys, stick with me and I'll show you the surefire methods how. Let's get out there. Buddy. I've seen this video probably like a hundred times. I play this on every immersion while we're just like chilling at the end, I'll, I'll play this video. And I've laughed pretty much every single time. I've shown it, I don't even know how much. I've seen this video probably 50 to 60 times. His ass is like wet. Like what the fuck? Thick mama. Hey, will you be my girlfriend? Or <laughs> we can go on a date or something and you're so cute so funny because like everyone oh, it's so like instantaneous like the funniness but anyway yeah obviously if you're coming across fucking gay and low value it's not gonna work to attract a woman uh and then afterward you see like the the worst thing possible to do it's like self-judgment times a thousand <laughs> No biggie. <laughs> no biggie. Back in the zone. Get back to it. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to dust off the cobwebs, uh, hop back in there, and maybe do, you know, like a little warm-up set. And have it be natural, you know, not so, not so confined. Hey, guys. <laughs> You're so pretty. And yeah, the, the both, and the both of you? Would you be my, would you be my girlfriend or? Oh, okay, bye. oh, this is, this one's the best one. I think. You guys are so, so pretty. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, and I, and I just think you're the, that you're the greatest. So, oh, thank you. you're um, <laughs> okay, bye. All right. <laughs> it's like everything possible bad, like over validation, over excitement on the tippy toes <laughs> premature ejaculation leaving the set too early oh man well hopefully <laughs> hopefully these were some funny videos for you guys and you learned a thing or two uh yeah i may do more streams like this they're really easy to do for me so uh i can always pop on for an hour or so and do them while i'm creating my online course which i'm slaving away on I have 70 videos done i'm creating 130 more videos for the course um yeah, hopefully this was cool. I got to hop off. I have a call with a student, but uh, yeah. How do I end? Okay, there we go. End broadcast. Later.